justification for it. There's no going to say, it's a problem, it's a problem. No, there's no justification for it. You're a man or a woman of the spirit and it's not right that you get angry. That's not practical Christianity. If you feel like getting angry, phone me or phone brother, brother here. <laughs> But don't be getting angry. Verse 21. Wherefore put away all filthiness, overflowing of wickedness, and receiveth with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. So anything that's pulling you down, any immoral thing, turn your eyes or mind away from it and get soaked into the word of God. Verse 23. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. And then he says, if you don't do that, you're like a person looking into the mirror and then you forget yourself afterwards. Verse 26. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. So gossiping is not right. There's so too much gossiping in, with Christians. You know, we, we kind of, we get saved and then we're in our own little bubble of the church. And that's like our little world. So we enjoy saying, Oh, well, did, did you see the pastor's wife? She went on a, she, she went away for two days. Wonder where she went for two days. And, oh, oh, did you see that did you see that young man he came? Oh, where's he come from then? Oh, he, he comes from uh, another town. Well, why has he come here then? What's he come to a church for? And there's too much gossiping going on. And, it, and we live this life, especially in denominations or churches that have been going on for a while. The people are so, they don't go out, they don't evangelize, they don't reach out. So they have this nice little world and where they have their coffee and tea at the end of the church and it's just gossiping about everybody. That's not Christianity. So stop gossiping and get out and do some evangelism. And then verse 27, we finish. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit fatherless widows in the affliction and to be, keep oneself unspotted from the world. So, so true religion is helping people, caring for people, and uh, doing what we can, where we can for people. That's true religion. So I'll recap, we're finished now. And, and being unspotted from the world. So are we trust, uh, number one, are we a servant? Stop grasping. Verse one, stop grasping to be somebody in the church. Just be humble and serve. Number two, are you trusting? Trials are going to come whether you like it or not. You are not exempt from trials. They will come. So trust. Number three, are you asking for wisdom? It's complex. Don't try to solve the problem yourself. There was somebody I know uh, somebody I respect but they, they had a baby and they, it was complex it was difficult to look after that baby so they went with someone who's a Muslim they're a Christian in order so that they would get help with the baby now we understand that they, they, they were finding it difficult but when it's complex and it's hard we've got to turn to the Lord mm -hmm. so we don't make the wrong decisions are you proud of your wealth remember God's given you wealth finally when you're tempted, it's not God that's tempting you, it's your own heart. God will give you the strength. He's good and he will help you. And then finally, Christianity is practical. There's no excuse to get angry in the home. If you keep blowing your top in the house, you need to sit down, have a coffee. Not say this to you, brother. You need to sit down, have a coffee, and you need to pray about it. And if you're still getting angry, you need to go see your pastor and let him pray about it. And then there's practical things here about not gossiping. And some of you may be bookish, you may be reading, the reading theology books, you may be into great theology. But if, you're not, if it's not working out in practical love, it's a pointless. And uh, so we're finished there. So I'm going to ask John to close in prayer. Do you want to close in prayer? Yeah. Lord, we just thank you for the uh, for the words that Jason has spoken this morning, Lord. Uh, just um, one thing that, that, that came up through it all was um, it says that when we are going through trials and tribulations, uh, which we, we, we will do, um, it mentions in 5, it says that if we lack wisdom, 
we're to ask God and he, he will give it liberally. So um, what God wants us to do when we're going through these trials, first it says ask, it means to pray, to pray into the situation and ask for guidance. And it says here in verse five, that he will give the answer, he will give the antidote. That, um, and the antidote is the word, reading into the word, praying into the word, yeah. and receiving uh, wisdom to help us through uh, all the trials that we go through on a daily basis yeah. as Christians. So Lord, I thank you this morning for uh, the book of James and, and I look forward to um, being able to go through it with Jason and the rest of us. And um, just um, we just thank you for, for this word this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.